Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've been seeing that I've gotten a lot of views by my death step video, and a lot of people were actually commenting nice things about how I actually made good tutorials and stuff, and that kind of inspired me to make a new tutorial. So I got a big sound for you guys. This is one of the heaviest screeches I probably ever made, and I'll be teaching you guys how to make that kind of screech, and you can use this in your songs too. So. I'm going to show you the screech and how it sounds like right now. Yeah, it's a very big screech, very screechy, and it has a very thick <coughs> sub too, which I'm going to show you guys how to make. But first, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made the screechy part of the sound, which sounds like this. <coughs> All right, so let's dive into the serum patch. So this is the serum patch. As you can see, it consists of saw waves. It's actually really uh, easy to do, just really basic shapes. So this is an LFO and it's controlling the FM modulation and the sync like this. I also added a uh, phaser 48 plus filter and I turned the uh, cutoff like that with the LFO and I turned the res like this and turn up the drive a little bit. In the effects section, I added a hyper dimension with the settings to make it more stereo. I also used the EQ to make a high resonance boost <laughs> and a distortion right afterwards so it distorts the, uh, the peak like that. So it makes it all distorted and like screech and stuff. I then added a compressor, multiband compressor, and then a reverb filter. Without the reverb filter, it sounds like this. And with. So it gets a lot of that metallic kind of sound. And I automated the mix because I felt it was a little too messy at the start and end. So I put an LFO like that. For the post-processing, this is actually a really good technique I found out. It's called, I'm going to call this the laser effect. And I, it's in Moon Boy's video. He used this kind of technique. So basically what you do is that you turn the fine down of this frequency shifter and you, you turn the dry wet about here or maybe halfway, whatever your preference is. It makes this lasery effect as you can hear like this. Very lasery effect, but I turned it just a little bit. Not that much. Then I added a audio effect rack that consists of only a, a reverb part of it. Affected by the post processing too. And the original. So it makes it more heavy. <laughs> then I added an OTT. Fairly simple. Then a saturator with a little bit of gain. And a mid and stereo separation. Mid and side separation, sorry. This is the uh, technique I showed you guys on my Death Step Bass Shot tutorial. If you haven't seen this, I'll link, leave a link in the description. I also added an EQ like this. And that's basically the screechy part of the heavy screech. Then here is the uh, sub part. Big sub. So in the serum patch, it's basically a sine wave with another sine wave slightly detuned and leveled down just to add more tones to the sub to make it uh, more full. I also added is a distortion which distorts this noise here, which I only put like 1% of. So it doesn't like, you know, too much noise. So I put it 1%. And then a compressor, multiband compressor, then a high EQ shelf. Then some saturation. And the big mid EQ dip here. Because as you can see, the screech is around this part that it's resonating the most so i made a big dip at that part to let the screech take its place here and for not for not to clash the bands and stuff and i grouped these together and i just put a simple glue compressor and a limiter and that's how you make the super super heavy screech um it's actually pretty simple if you think about it it's basically just fming two saw waves with a lot of post-processing yeah, it's pretty simple. You can make your own screeches like this in your own songs and they'll sound very cool and will sound very good in your songs. So 
I hope you liked this tutorial. I'll make more tutorials like this if you guys want this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.